Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me once again. If you guys have never seen me before, my name is Mark Kutrovsky. Uh Today we will be talking about the Canon EOS R5. This has probably been one of the most anticipated cameras at one point with the early rumors of, oh, it's gonna have 8K RAW to the big massive disappointment weeks, just weeks and days after launch and people were complaining and sharing how much it was frustrating to be shooting and see the camera overheat and nearly be unable to be used. It was unusable. I actually did watched hours and hours of reviews and I still ended up getting one. And yes, it was a risk. I was a little skeptical and kind of afraid uh, to actually be dumping so much money into this camera that might actually be unusable. But I went ahead and did it and it's been about three months since I've been using it and I just wanted to share three big things of why I actually have really enjoyed using this beast of a camera. Let's get into this folks. The first thing that I want to mention about this camera that I absolutely love and I have not actually heard very many people talk about if at all somebody's talking about it. Everybody's really focused on the 4K footage, the 120, the 8K, but what I've actually noticed is that the 1080p on this camera, just the HD video on this camera looks absolutely spectacular. The first time that I ended up shooting some video on this camera. I didn't have the super insanely fast CF Express cards. So I pulled out the 1080p on this camera, which I was very, very pleasantly surprised. I don't know what it is about it. It feels so much more sharper and cleaner and the colors look really great on it. And that could be just because of the high bit rates or maybe the 10 bit 422 a color in this camera, but really the 1080p HD footage absolutely blew me away for what it is. And it's really easy to edit. The other side is the education for the consumer. I know HD may sound like an ancient thing, but that's actually a great segue into my second point is that I actually think the 4K video on this looks pretty darn well. The color science, the sharpness, just the look of the 4K DCI footage coming out of this camera is absolutely spectacular. Like I actually genuinely enjoy it. And let me preface this by saying it's also not perfect. The dynamic range on it is not one of the best that you can get out there. Um, and the 4K is probably not comparable to the, something like a C200 uh, or some of the kind of the entryway cinema cameras. Those definitely have an up hand over the R5, but for what the R5 is, for a hybrid camera shooting 4K, it can actually produce a pretty beautiful image. And of course, with the 4K files and what I mentioned in my first point is that um, is the camera overheating for me? And I've gotten to use this camera on uh, weddings, client projects, uh, shooting some vlogs, kind of some of my some of my own creative projects, but also for my coffee roasting company. And all my experience shooting photos and videos, shooting 1080p, then 4K footage, shooting 4K 60, 120, I surprisingly have not even had uh, overheat warning. And that was such a pleasant surprise. Like I remember shooting my first project, my second project, my third, and I'm like shooting and kind of expecting some kind of warning, some kind of issue. But so far from the last three months of using the R5, I have not had any issues with overheating and any of the modes. Of course, I've not yet tested the 8K because I'm just deadly afraid of those file sizes and it absolutely destroying my MacBook. One of the biggest reasons why I picked up the Canon EOS R5 is because a lot of my work kind of pushes me into being a hybrid shooter. I'm not just taking photos, I'm not just taking videos, but a lot of my work includes taking photos for 
uh, Instagram for different kinds of clients, uh, but then also I can turn around and shoot weddings, uh, corporate videos, kind of product videos, and I need a camera that can do both. The R5 does such a spectacular job with the photos. It's just absolutely incredible. It's done amazing at some of the higher ISOs that I'm shooting at, which I'm not shooting at big ISOs, but 6400 and kind of around that range, it's doing a very great job. The dynamic range is very sufficient for me. The colors, uh, I've, it, they've been just so easy to work with. Also the camera autofocus, the human and animal eye tracking is absolutely amazing like i'm actually never worried about my autofocus especially with the box that comes up that tracks the face i just know and i have this confidence that hey my shot will most likely be 99 percent be in focus and i love the peace and the comfort that that offers me as a photo shooter of course even though I love this camera, I'm not gonna say that this is a perfect camera. Some of the things that I don't like is the video dynamic range. The 4K videos files are absolutely deadly to work with. Like that is definitely valid. Also going from the 1DX Mark II then to the USR, the R5 actually doesn't have this, the best battery life that I've ever used in the Canon camera. Um, I've noticed myself switching out batteries a little more often than say my EOS R uh, and potentially my 1DX Mark II, but that's not a super huge deal breaker for me. It's just something else for me to consider and keep in mind in the back of my head. So far, this camera has not given me a reason to say, man, I wish I didn't invest my money into this camera or I wish I ended up buying another camera. This is just doing everything that I need and. I'll probably be shooting with this camera for the next year or two and be pretty happy and content with the quality of the footage and the content that I'm able to get out of this. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Hopefully this was reassuring to you or helpful to you if you're thinking about buying the EOS R5 or maybe like you're like me, you're just watching R5 reviews even after you bought the camera. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.